my name is Alex and I've been watching wildlife and birds for decades and there's one thing that keeps it compelling for me and that's the more I look the more there's new things to see Everyone's heard the dawn chorus and it's fantastic. What I'm going to try and do around the park and the churchyard here is film some of the individual little birds that go to make up that chorus. As you can hear, there's birds singing all around me at the moment and it's really difficult to pick out the individuals that are doing the singing. So that's what I'm going to try and do on this little film now. It's a difficult thing because they're often tiny little birds and they prefer to sing right up in the top of the trees. Another thing you can do just to give yourself a bit more of a chance is to hide yourself up using something like this or any type of camouflage really. Just cover your face up, your hands up, just try and make yourself less obvious and that way you might not scare them away. Of course it's dawn that's a special time for listening to the birds. Being able to see the birds is a different thing. They often choose to hide out right behind the leaves or right at the very, very top of the trees. This is a little flycatcher and luckily he was quite out in the open. Beautiful little bird and a lovely song. Now the reason all these birds have arrived at spring isn't just to make our lives a bit more cheerful, of course. It's because this time of year we've got the flowers and that means we've got the insects that go with it. And of course with all the insects comes the little birds that I'm looking at. Flycatchers, chiff chaffs, black caps, those kind of birds. So the abundance of insects is really the, the beginning of the chorus. The bird I'm really looking for and hoping to film is the black cap. This bird has got such a beautiful little song and it's only a tiny bird and here he is. His song is meant to be likened to a nightingale. Absolutely stunning. And this was the shot of a picture of the black cap singing in the sunshine and so I could hear it. I believe this churchyard's a beautiful place, but it's also a poignant one to watch these birds. When you're watching these tiny little birds whose frenetic lives are so short, and you're watching in a place where we remember the passing of our long generations. This fly catcher singing was lovely. But I was absolutely thrilled when I found not the black cat, but the female who's got a little red cap on her. And even though she's not singing, obviously, she's feeding on the insects that's bringing them all to this country this time of year. Which is absolutely lovely. And even though there's hawthorn in the way, I'm really pleased to get this little... A lovely little sequence of a bird I don't think I've ever even seen before. And I managed to take some pictures along the way.